Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked and today we are going to be doing a little bit of editing on this photo right here. A subscriber sent me this. He was having a problem with taking out the fingers right here um, and making it look like it fit it fit the photo. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to take out these fingers and then we're going to have a little bit of an ear problem and we're going to try to fix the ear up a little bit. Um, once you take the fingers out, we're going to try to make the ear uh, look somewhat realistic. Um, there's probably a bunch of different ways to do it, so I'm going to show you the, the one of the ways I know, and I find this to be the easiest and fastest way. This really won't take that long. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to zoom in on the actual shot. Um, we're going to open up our poly, la, polygonal lasso tool, and what we're going to do is we're just going to make an outline of the fingers here. And mainly what we're going to do is we're going to use a cloning tool and we are going to just make those fingers fit in with all the blackness or darkness um, around the fingers. So if you notice, it's really dark around the fingers. So this makes it really easy to do. Um, and then we're just going to grab a cloning tool here. And what we're going to do is bring this, make this a little bit bigger. And then we're just going to hit the Alt or Option button. And we're going to start just taking and cloning all this darkness into this shot. Now the nice thing about using the polygonal lasso tool is that it will not as you, so let's say I do this and I want to go put it over here. It won't let me do that. Um, it will only let me work within these parameters that I've set, which is really nice. So I don't have to worry about overlapping my uh, overlapping my cloning to go over here on his face or over here on his shoulder. Um, I, oh, it will only stay within those parameters that the polygon and lasso tool has that I have set. So once that's done, which is pretty easy, now we're going to hit Control D. That will deselect it. So that looks pretty good. We got rid of the fingers. It looks like it fits the shot fairly well. Um, it's a little dark, but again, you're not really going to notice the difference unless you're looking for it. So we're going to do the same thing for the ear pretty much. We're going to pull out the polygon and lasso tool. And we're going to try to reconstruct this ear real quick. Now, there are probably better ways to make it look more realistic than this, but this way is fast, it works, and the average eye is not going to notice this. Um, another photographer might. So what we're going to do is we're going to take information from this part of the ear right here. We're going to hit the Option or Alt key, and we're just going to start coloring it in until it, until it gets all colored in around here. So again, we're just coloring this in. He did send me a second photo. The problem is the photo is done in a completely different location with the with completely different lighting. So it would be very difficult to take the ear off that photo and reuse it into this photo. So let's see here. And now I'm just doing one click and one click till I got my lighting how I want it. So if you notice, it's a little off. It's a little dark, so let's try to take out those darker spots in this shot. So this is not going to be a perfect fix, fix, but this will be this fix will do fairly well. Then we're probably going to use the spot healing tool, and we're just going to make those lines look like it kind of fits the ear a little bit, and uh, and smooth it out just a tad bit. Oh, that does not look good. So we're going to do uh, Control, Alt, Option, Z. Go back and let's try smoothing it out again. There we go. That looks a little bit smoother. Um, and then we're going to go back out. And now you look at the shot. Again, if you zoomed in, you're going to notice that it does not look perfect. But for a quick, fast edit, this is this is really simple to do. The ear, for the most part, looks pretty realistic unless you're looking for... Unless you're like, wait a minute, that ear looks, you know, if you're actually specifically looking to see if that ear looks correct, the average uh, person will not catch it. And this is, uh, this is a pretty fast and easy fix, especially if you're, in, if you, you know, if you're time sensitive. So uh, I love it if anybody else could uh, do a similar tutorial, if you know how to do something like this and make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, and you can leave it as a video response to this video. So I'm not an expert at Photoshop. Um, I would say I am better than the average person, but uh, Photoshop is not my strongest point when it comes to photography. 
So anyways, hopefully this helped you guys out. I hope you enjoyed it. Check us out on Facebook at David D. Images and Twitter at Media Unlocked. We'll catch you guys next time.